If you've started looking into the actuarial profession, you might not know what an actuary is, you might not understand what an actuary really does, but you've definitely read at least one article that says that being an actuary is a high paying career. Now unfortunately I'm not a consulting company and I do not administer actuarial salary surveys, although those do exist and you can just easily google that by searching actuary salary survey, but I am a working actuary and I do know how much I get paid. So today I thought that we could talk about what goes into determining an actuary salary, how I got to my current salary, and other compensation slash benefits that I receive as part of my work as an actuary. But first, a quickie recap of where I am in my actuarial journey as it relates to how much I'm getting paid. I'm a fellow of the Casualty Actuarial Society. I have three years of work experience, a bachelor's degree in actuarial mathematics. I work for a large property and casualty insurer in Toronto, Canada. One of the biggest things that will determine your actuary salary is not actuary specific, and that is the market conditions in your city. How competitive is the market? What are other people getting paid in that city? Are there a lot of jobs? Are there a few jobs? Are there a lot of people looking? Are there a few people looking? What's cost of living like in that city? Personally, I started my career in the Montreal office of the company that I work for. Then I switched to a different team while maintaining the same job position in the Toronto office, and my my salary did go up significantly just because of the difference in cost of living between Montreal and Toronto. Another big thing that's going to impact your salary is how well you negotiate it. I've heard anecdotally that your biggest salary negotiation power comes when you're starting a new job, so either starting entry level or switching jobs. I say anecdotally because I have not switched jobs. I have only entered the job market as an entry level employee and I'm still at my entry level job title. And basically when they made me my job offer, I tried to negotiate by essentially being like, maybe you should offer me more money. No, we shouldn't. I, it's cool. Like I don't, didn't work. A salary determining factor that is very actuary specific is the number of exams that you have passed slash the titles that you hold. Someone who has passed four actuarial exams should in theory be making more than someone at the same company who has passed two actuarial exams. Someone who has their FSA or FCAS should be making more money than someone who is an ASA or ACAS, all else being equal. Different companies do this in different ways. Some companies will give you a bonus if you pass your exam. Some companies will give you a salary increase in the form of a fixed dollar amount, maybe a thousand dollar increase, maybe a five thousand dollar increase, depends on the exam. Some companies will give you a percent increase, two percent, five percent, something like that. Personally, I would get a combination of a bonus and a percent increase with every exam that I passed. Another reason that your salary might go up is because of your job title. Like I mentioned, I am at my entry level job position. My job title is actuarial analyst, but when the time comes for me to get promoted up, that will come with both more responsibility, more ownership of my projects, and also a little bit more money. Not there yet. Don't know how much. I get annual salary increases that are semi to reflect performance and semi to just adjust you to the cost of inflation. Another big actuarial determining factor is the type of actuary that you are. If you've watched my videos, you know that there are insurance actuaries and consulting actuaries. There are property and casualty actuaries, life actuaries, pension actuaries, investing actuaries. Different types of actuaries will earn different types of salaries. Now again, I do not run actuary salary surveys, so I can only speak anecdotally, but a consulting actuary will generally be earning a higher salary than an insurance actuary. However, a consulting actuary will also probably be working way more hours to the point where an insurance actuary is earning a lot more per hour worked. Anecdotally, in a way that is biased towards me, given that I'm a property and casualty insurance actuary. I've heard it said that property and casualty actuaries earn more than life actuaries, but again, anecdotal. I wouldn't put my, like, actuarial certification signing on that. Not that I could actually sign, because I'm not, you know, I can't do that, but, you know, if I could, I wouldn't. It's anecdotal. <laughs> In the other compensation category, I earn an annual bonus. This bonus is based half on my own personal performance and half on the company's performance. So if the company does well and I do well, I get a very big bonus. If the company does not do well and I do not do well, I get a very sad bonus. But thankfully, that has not happened yet in my tiny little actuarial career span scope thing. I also get your regular benefits like health, dental, pension plan. Guys, having a pension plan is the most grown-up thing about me. Like that, I'm planning for retirement. That is grown up. My company also offers some weird benefits like 
they will give me a certain amount of money every year to pay for a gym membership to try to, you know, encourage employees to work out, which is a benefit that I've never actually used, but I probably should because I need to get in shape. I also get actuary specific other compensation. When I was studying for my actuarial exams, I would get other compensation in the form of paying for my study manuals, paying my exam fees, and giving me study days. These are huge perks because the manuals, the exam fees are not cheap and having time to study is just such a luxury. I know people in other professions who work for companies who just don't give them the time off to study and so they have to sort of work around their work schedule to try to find time to study. If you can find a company that will pay you to study, that's like really helpful. Now that I'm done with my exams, my company will pay my CAS membership dues. My company also will pay for me to go to CAS conferences. These are conferences put on by the Casualty Actuarial Society to help you get your continuing education credits, to help you mingle with other actuaries, just to have a good actuarial jolly old time. I don't know what their goals are, but that's what I get out of it. The continuing education and the mingling and the fun. Leave your actuary questions in the comments down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more of my face. I love you guys. Bye!